Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy, drama, and thriller movie from 2023 called The Burial. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with an engaging speech by the main character, Mr. Wooly Gary, also known as Gary, in a local black church. Gary passionately talks about the importance of faith and spirit, winning over the people in the church. The story then moves to another key character, Mr. Jerry O'Keefe, who celebrates his 75th birthday with his grandsons and wife, Annette. O'Keefe owns a funeral home business in Mississippi with a large black community. Another scene in the court, Willie Gary wins a huge case for his client, Mr. K. Kloss Tubbs, against Finch and Co. Food Services, securing a $75 million payout for an injury claim. During this intense court case, Jerry O'Keefe watches and is impressed by Gary's skills as a lawyer. O'Keefe decides he wants Gary to work for him and, with encouragement from his legal assistant, Mr. Hal, Reggie Douglas, Gary's assistant, was also present at this meeting. At first, Gary is unsure, but O'Keefe and Hal explain their situation, convincing him to consider it. O'Keefe runs a family funeral business, but the Mississippi State Insurance Commission has recently questioned his company's finances putting him in a tough spot with debts. O'Keefe's friend and lawyer, Mr. Mike Alred, suggests selling part of the business to avoid trouble with the commission and save his company. On a trip to Canada to meet with potential buyers, Jerry introduces Mike to a promising young lawyer, Mr. Howe, who is quickly making a name for himself in the legal world. They meet with Mr. Lewin, the head of Lewin Group LLC, a big player in the funeral business who predicts a significant increase in deaths across America and sees this as an opportunity to expand his business in Mississippi through strategic purchases. Jerry isn't fully convinced by Lewin's business tactics, but after some negotiation, they strike a deal. Lewin buys three of Jerry's funeral homes at good prices, while Jerry keeps his main assets and Lewin agrees to stay out of Jerry's business area. It seems like a win-win situation for Jerry. However, four months later, the deal, which was supposed to close in 30 days, hits a snag. Lewin Group LLC keeps asking for changes to the original terms, which makes Jerry's lawyer, Mr. Hal, suspicious. Hal starts to think that Lewin isn't interested in closing the deal, but rather wants to keep Jerry away from his business so that Jerry's debts pile up. This could lead to the insurance commission taking over Jerry's business, allowing Lewin to buy it cheaply and monopolize the market. Realizing they might be getting tricked, Jerry and Hal decide to fight back legally. Hal suggests getting Gary on board, especially since the case will likely be heard by a jury with many black members. Right now, Gary isn't too keen on getting involved in the case. He mentions the lack of significant financial gain and that it's not his area of expertise. But Hal keeps on pushing, convinced that winning this case against big players in a huge industry would make Gary a national star. Hal's determination works, and Gary agrees to join the case. Mike, who has been Jerry O'Keefe's main lawyer for a long time, isn't happy about bringing in someone new like Gary, especially since Gary isn't experienced in contract law. He insists that if Gary joins, Mike should still be the main lawyer. In a meeting, Jerry's top lawyers have very different ideas. Mike wants to stick to an $8 million claim, but Gary wants to go big and suggests suing for $100 million. Everyone is shocked by Gary's boldness and wonders if he's serious. During a heated argument, Jerry decides to make Gary the main lawyer and to go for the $100 million claim. When Lewin's lawyers hear about this huge claim, they laugh it off. But Lewin gets serious when he finds out that they'll be facing a black lawyer in front of a mostly black jury. He quickly hires top black lawyers for his team. Jerry's team is surprised to see that Lewin has brought on Mrs. Downs, a well-known lawyer with a great background, including working at the Supreme Court. She's nicknamed Python for her strong and determined approach. Both sides move into a hotel close to the court for the trial. Hal is amazed and a bit worried when he sees the strong legal team Lewin has put together, including some of the best contract lawyers and former state legal advisors. Lewin has brought together a powerful team to face Gary and his less experienced group. During the trial, both sides fiercely challenge each other's arguments, trying to win the jury over. Miss Downs proves to be very prepared, showing great legal skill and convincing the jury that Jerry's lawsuit might be more about personal grudge than justice. 
Frustrated by Mrs. Down's effective arguments, Gary decides to take a bold step and puts Jerry O'Keefe on the stand despite his team's concerns. This move doesn't go well as Gary struggles to defend Jerry from Miss Downs' sharp questions. Miss Downs aggressively challenges Jerry, accusing him of using his client's money improperly and committing fraud to cover debts for his family members in jail. Embarrassed by Mrs. Downs' accusations, Jerry decides to switch lawyers, replacing Willie Gary with Mike as his main lawyer. The case's direction now depends on Mike. The next day, Hal brings in McGrath, a former employee of the Lewin Group, as a witness. McGrath accuses the Lewin Group of exploiting clients by charging different prices based on location. However, when Mike hints at racial discrimination, the defense plans to use this to discredit him. A significant piece of information comes up about the Lewin Group's agreement with a national bank. This discovery leads Jerry's team to investigate further. The next day of the trial turns out to be very chaotic for Jerry and his legal team. When Ms. Downs questions Mike in court, she cleverly brings up his grandfather's connections with the Ku Klux Klan. This move aims to unsettle Mike in his defense, and it works. The news about Mike's grandfather shakes up the case and causes discord within Jerry's legal team. The courtroom becomes chaotic, with Mike inadvertently causing more rumors about him and Jerry. Under Ms. Downs' influence, the tension escalates into a physical fight involving Gary's team members. As a result, Gary's entire team leaves him and Mike, realizing he's becoming a liability. Feeling defeated by these events, Jerry decides to drop the case and stop pursuing his claim. He thinks it's best to personally tell Gary about this decision. Meanwhile, as the case files are being moved following Jerry's decision, Hal discovers some shocking information about an NBC deal. Outside in the sugarcane fields, while Gary is trying to convince Jerry to keep going with the case, Hal calls them with this new information and suddenly everything changes. They quickly share these findings with the people affected by the NBC agreement. It turns out that Lewin Group LLC had made a deal with NBC to provide burial services for their 30,000 black churches and over a million members, promising financial benefits and support to the community. However, the reality was far from this promise. The financial details revealed that the Lewin Group made over $1.2 billion but only paid $200,000 to NBC. Feeling the pressure, the defense quickly brings in Lewin to testify, which is exactly what Gary had expected. It comes out in court that Lewin has been taking advantage of poor and vulnerable communities to support his lavish lifestyle, including buying yachts and jets worth $25 million. When it looks like he's going to lose, Lewin offers Jerry a huge settlement of $75 million. However, Anne, representing Jerry's interest, is not tempted by the money and strongly turns down the offer. Angry and embarrassed by being outplayed by a smaller business owner, Lewin gives up on trying to settle the case. The next day, everyone is waiting for the verdict in this big case, which has come to represent the dignity of the black community in Mississippi. On November 1st, 1991, the jury found the Lewin Group LLC guilty. Jerry O'Keefe wins the $100 million he claimed and another $400 million for his troubles. When the Lewin Group LLC tries to appeal the decision, they end up agreeing to pay $175 million. Turns out Ann was right to reject the initial settlement offer. The story ends with Jerry O'Keefe using his winnings to start a charity that provides burial services for people who can't afford them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.